Hey folks, it's Nerdcore Dave here with another video. Comics and exciting stuff like that. Hey, uh, I had an exciting week. I didn't make it to my local comic shop, but I did a couple runs to some other ones. We, today's Walking Dead Day, so we went down to the city and hit up three different comic shops for that. Um, got a little variety of some stuff and dug in some dollar bins. Um, so I wanted to show you guys some stuff, but also during the week here we picked up a couple things at uh, Walmart. Had those Swamp Things that I was telling you guys about. Uh, they're Walmart exclusives. That's one of them. Right there, look at that sweet artwork. Great Capullo artwork. It's mostly reprints with, uh, I think, one new story. And uh, if you could see how thick these things are, make sure when you get one that you get one that's lined up like that real nice where the words are on the side. It's very important if you're going to keep them for collectability, grading. Um, you always want them to be squared up real nice. That's a good copy right there. Beautiful Greg Capullo artwork. Um, and then while I was there, I also got a uh, Batman issue number three uh, Walmart exclusive while I was there. I really like these things be just because they look cool, man. They look like the old 70s uh, had the banners there on the DC Comics. And it reminds me of that. Got Jim Lee cover artwork. Um, it says in the, the original story, this is a Brian Bendis uh, Batman story in there. And it says um, that they are introducing a new character next month. So it's going to be an important key issue. So make sure you get it number four next month um, in case they ever decide to use them again. But there you go on that. Keep an eye out the Walmart. We found these by the collectible cards. Um, so what I was saying was uh, we went and did the Walking Dead day and stuff like that. But I got some other stuff there this week that's pretty interesting. Um, my order from Unknown Comics came in for their celebration. This is, uh, the next to last order I have here. Venom number two, Unknown Comics exclusive. Sweet. They all match, uh, Carnage and Spidey right there. Beautiful cover. I really, I really dig these. I slipped it into a My Light 2 because all that white, in fact, all these comics, they're white. I'm keeping in a My Lights with the acid-free boards, uh, so they don't yellow. They're less likely to yellow. Um, grab, had... So we did a run in the middle of the week to a bigger shop because there were some covers that I knew my local comic shop smaller enough. There's no way they were going to get them. Had to get the Spider-Ham Spider-Geddon. I don't know if my local comic shop got it or not. I know he does. I like Spider-Ham. If he didn't, I'll have... If he did keep one for me, I got two. This one, at, at least, at the very least, I got one. Peter Porker, what can you say? On that run, this was the main reason we ran out there. I had to have this Harley Quinn cover for uh, Suicide Squad, number 47. Matina again, Francesco Matina. His covers are amazing. His artwork's amazing. I don't even know if this guy is real. The, the way his artwork is so perfect, how can anybody kick out the amount of artwork that he does and be so consistent? I mean, he's doing multiple, what five, six, seven, eight titles a month. These great paintings. Um, it's just I, I'm convinced he's a robot or a computer program or something. But uh, <laughs> yeah, there's that Harley Quinn. Very, and I can't believe I saw that at the comic shop today they weren't sold out of these things. I, I don't understand it. Uh, whatever, man. Um, then I had to get this. This is the other one I had to get. This Red Hood Outlaw, number 27. Beautiful Poo-Tree. Yasmin Poo-Tree um, cover. Um, just, I don't know, man. I couldn't live without these two covers, so that's why we did the big run. And then I also grabbed, not this one. This one I grabbed today, but I grabbed part two. This is part one that we're going to see next. This is the uh, Wonder Woman and Justice League Dark, number one. It's the Witching Hour. Uh, Wonder Woman's new powers allegedly, so it's gonna be a key issue. But uh, check out the artwork on this guy, unbelievable! That's some some beautiful artwork right there. Evil ass Wonder Woman. Uh, I'm not even sure who did the cover on this, but had to have that one too. I, I ordered one in, and it, but I ordered the blank cover. Uh, you know, with um, if you go through the previews magazine, a lot of times they don't show what the variants artworks are. So I didn't pre-order anything special, so I was like, well, I'll have two copies, one blank cover for con sketches and one for one of this just to look at. Pick this up this week. Um, this is uh, the Wonder Woman, part two to the Witching Hour, but this is Wonder Woman 56. Beautiful cover, man. Um, just amazing. I don't even know how they do it these days. But that's, that's, that's that for that, for these, this, this uh, run that we did. Um, like I said, we only went out to get a couple books, just oddball stuff. Um, now my buddy did a flea market buy last week and, um, he had a lot of these horror magazines. He had doubles of this issue. So he threw it at me and, uh, which is really cool. Cause I don't own a lot of this stuff and I actually do want to start getting this, but this is the reprint of the, uh, fifties EC comics. 
I'm not sure when I did them, 70s or 80s. Pretty sweet. I'll be digging into that. But when we were in the city today, I dug in the dollar bin a little bit. And we came across two copies of X-Men number four. My friend grabbed one and I grabbed the other. This thing's in like perfect condition. Uh, first appearance of Mega Red. So sooner or later, they're going to have to, especially in MCU, they're going to be using these Marvel characters. I, I would assume they're going to use Omega Red because he's somebody who can actually kick the living shit out of Wolverine. Um, so we're hanging on to that. Then I grabbed also with all the dollar bin. This isn't in the greatest shape, but this is the first cameo appearance. It's X-Men number 15, X-Man number 15. Uh, first cameo appearance of Onslaught. You can remember this cover and it says that right there. He appears within... He appears in the shadow, um, but wasn't going to pass that up either. And then, in the dollar books, I had doubles of this whole series except for number three. This thing's in perfect condition for a buck. Wasn't going to pass it up. So that series is done. I'm done with that. Now, for The Walking Dead. I think this is from last year. Um, it was a quarter book. Scooped it up. Um, Walking Dead 163. This was today's giveaway for Walking Dead 2018. Walking Dead Day 2018. Didn't read it yet. Looks great. Um, only one place had this had one of these. I, I'm kind of shocked. I thought all the all the uh, retailers would have a stack of these things, but only one did. We went to three, like I said. So if you look here. It says two day special. So that's interesting. Um, now before we get into the next thing, I want to show you guys for Walking Dead Day. All these retailers. Well, I shouldn't say all of them, but any participating retailers had these poly bags okay so these poly bag comics all had different artists uh do the artwork for the covers now the covers the artists and the artwork in general is all the same on each issue okay but so like issue one all has the same cover except for the variants there's a bunch of different variants and from what i understand some are signed there's um, the regular covers, there's the virgin covers, there's black and white sketch cover, a virgin black and white sketch cover. Um, I went with two friends and we got a variety of each. Um, on number 19, my one friend got a black and white sketch variant. I got the virgin and my other friend got the regular. Um, so we, we saw, we each got pretty much the same issues and we got a, quite a variety. I didn't open this one yet. I'm going to do an unbagging here right in front of you guys. And I'm also going to throw it in a box and show you guys how I do, do, uh, or in a bag and show you guys the way I feel is the correct way to do this, but we're going to save that for last. So here is walking dead number 19. This is a J Scott Campbell cover. I lucked out and got the virgin. Um, J Scott Campbell draws beautiful women and, um, Obviously, he's very good at drawing zombies, apparently, too. Uh, I'm very happy with this. It was a great catch. Um, you know, getting these bags and, and digging that, I hope they do this more um, because the surprise and the fun of opening these things up. I know uh, at the comic shop, a couple of the retailers bought some and were waiting to open them, open them up in front of us. We opened ours in front of the retailers. It was a lot of fun. Um, seeing we, the retail, one retailer actually got number one's black and white virgin variant. So that was cool. Um, so, yeah, guys. Sweet, yeah. Um, then also, uh, number 92, the Jesus. Everyone that bought this that we've seen so far got the regular. This is the regular cover. Really interesting cover. Uh, couldn't pass it up just because it looks like the like a typical Jesus painting, Sacred Heart's a gun, and uh, I guess he's doing a bless you kind of a thing right there. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I guess on to the... Uh, unbagging of issue number one let's check this out i got a pair of scissors here and i uh, recommend you cut the bottom the uh keep the top nice you may want to keep the bag i don't recommend doing this guys if you look at this number 19 here we put it on the back and thought it would look cool um that's probably not the best idea because if you run your fingers across that okay you can feel this seam now this seam might not seem like a big deal right now but if you have it on the back okay and you have this comic up against that and it sits there for 20 years i can almost guarantee it's going to leave an indentation on your comic so i highly recommend if you do want to keep the bags put it inside the front of a bag and that way it'll be pushing like that and nobody gets hurt in the process right <laughs> so anyways let's see if we can get this on camera i'm going to go ahead and cut open this bag here Let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah. This is going to be sweet. 
So we're cutting the bottom of this bag and you don't have to cut very far either. If you cut the top, this seems a little thick, but if you grab this guy and just kind of across the bottom, be careful. Look, man, there's a lot of room here. So you have to worry about cutting your comic. Just know where your comic's at in here. Look at that, like butter. So up till now, we've seen every comic's been upside down in these guys. In these guys. So let's see what. Uh oh, let's see how this comes out. It's in there a little tight. So be careful. We don't want to. Oh, there it is. Here it comes. Oh, it's a regular cover. But we got a Walking Dead number one regular cover of the David Finch. Now there's another cover too. That's just a regular Walking Dead reprint number one. Um, but this is the David Finch cover, and it's pretty sweet. Too bad. I would have liked to have gotten a signed copy or something. But hey, it is what it is, man. That's the luck of the draw. But check it out. I'm going to show you guys how I do these baggings real quick. Look, man. The best. This is the best way to do it. Slide this board out, okay? And I recommend, recommend always using Silver Age bags because then you don't have to battle to get them in there. Um, if you get an older book or, or one of those, like those Walmart... Um, books that we got there the exclusives they're real thick and they they'll, there's room enough for them to fit in there and you can even see that that's pretty tight with the silver age bag but also if you get a golden age bag for those bigger ones they're not going to fit in your box but a silver age bag will fit everything and um so look slide that out so it's just like that you guys see that take your book lay it on a flat surface lay this on there slide that in then slide this in the rest of the way boom check it out None of this stuff. I see people battling, trying to get it in this little corner right here and everything else. You don't need to do that, man. But it, something else I want to show you guys, too. I know everybody does it, and I did it with this book. Look, did it so it's folded right at the top there, okay, along with the uh, board. That's not really the way, the classic way you're supposed to do it. If you look at these bags, most of them, when you look at this board, you'll see right here, there's like a second flap on the back that it raises up. That's actually supposed that, that's supposed to work as a guideline. So when you do this, when you take these, well, let's look at the tape first here before I show you that. I've been using this wall tape, okay? Don't use the clear tape. Use either the invisible, quotation mark, invisible tape, magic tape or whatever, or check out this wall tape. This is the new stuff that I've been using. And it's nice because it's thick, not super thick, but it's, it's different. It's like a matte. And it's also got um, the, the, the adhesive on it isn't super adhesive where it's going to, if it gets on your comic, it's not going to rip your comic. I'm, this is made for like putting posters or whatever on the wall and it's made so it doesn't peel the paint off. So if it's not going to peel the paint off the wall, it's probably the best thing to use for your comics, right? So I always take two pieces like that, keep them in my hand. Now, look at this fold. When you roll this up, use that little let, that lip I was telling you for the uh, second the backing of the plastic on the bag as your guideline put this tape on okay so there you go it's nice and even and then take us at the top here okay you're gonna see so it goes across even you have that flap folded and then just kind of pinch it okay now if you pinch it and rub your fingers across like like that that is the proper classic way to do it to a bag of comic. And the reason being, look, when I'm handling this thing, I'm holding on to the plastic. I'm not handling the comic itself, so I'm less less wear and tear on the comic, and that way the grade, you'll maintain the grade of the comic. You won't wear and tear on that. It's very important. Now, I'm guilty of doing it the other way because I think it's nice, looks nicer, and when you're digging in a box or whatever, it just seems easier, but that's really not the way to do it. You want to do it this way. But there you go, man. That's all the fun we have for today. Um, uh, thanks again for anybody that watches. And uh, we'll see what I come up with next week once I get to the local comic shop because I'm going to have the two-week haul here. So, All right, guys. Take care and have a happy Walking Dead evening.